I'm Kelly. And I'm Lawrence. And this episode is Monkey Bars. Guys, what we want to focus on today is mobility. Having that strength mobility, our shoulder mobility, because strong, mobile shoulders are safe shoulders. So we're going to do some wrist mobility exercises to start awesome. us off. Awesome. Let's do it. Go for it. So first what I'm going to do is drop down. I'm going to go into a nice little plank position, a bare plank position. If you notice, i got my shoulders over my elbows, over my wrists. Now what I want to do is place my palms away from me, rotate them away, keeping my shoulders over my wrist, and spread my fingers as far as I possibly can. Now once I'm in this position, in this nice little set position, I'm just going to rock back really gently. Be careful, don't go to be too aggressive. Driving your palms into the ground, just sit back as far as you possibly can. Taking that big deep breath, and then just exhale. Sit back a little bit more, driving your palms into the ground, and then rock back forward. Awesome. Taking a big deep breath, and you can do it a few more times. Really getting those wrists nice and loose. Again, you know, strong, mobile shoulders, our healthy shoulders, our healthy wrists. Great. So this is our first option for wrist mobility, and then yep. the second wrist mobility exercise. Second one in here, we're going to place our forearms together. Okay. We'll interlock our fingers, and we're just going to roll our wrists around. Now notice, I'm keeping my forearms together. So we're just going to roll it in one direction for a moment, and then roll it back in the opposite direction. Let's get them nice and loose, nothing too crazy, you know, we're just working on that mobility. Awesome, so that's our wrist mobility. Now we'll move on to shoulder mobility. Yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to a wall, keeping that nice straight posture, placing my heels up against the wall. I'm going to keep my, my elbows tucked in to my rib cage, nice and tight with my palms face up. I'm just going to rotate my arms out away from my body. Awesome, and the purpose of this is to? Keep your shoulders nice and loose, shoulder mobility, loosen up those shoulders. Just breathe, exhale, really just pressing out as far as you can. You'll feel that resistance, you want to hold it there for a slight second, and then slowly bring it right back in. You'll do that several times. Exhale as you rotate them back out. Hold it, and then bring them back in. Awesome, nice and, and that'll move us on to our three second negative banded pull apart. So we're gonna do eight of these. You're gonna grab you a nice little resistance band. And if you want it more resistance, double it up. Less resistance. You know, you're not looking to get a shoulder workout right here. We're looking about just warming them up, getting them nice and loose. The closer you grab, the more resistance you're gonna get. So you want your knuckles facing out, palms down, chest up, back straight. And you're just gonna pull it apart as far as you possibly can. Perfect. And then slowly bring it in with a three second negative. And we're gonna do this eight times. Eight times for the three second negative band pull apart. Okay. Notice on the way back, Lawrence, you want the shoulders and the wrists to be parallel. There's no reason to come back past here. There's no reason to do that. That's hyperextension. So it's perfect to just bring it parallel. Eight times. And now with this, we'll move on to our monkey bar readiness, readiness test. Monkey bar readiness. Which is a one minute dead hang. This is our monkey bar readiness test. So Lawrence is gonna jump up. And this is a dead hang, Lauren. So explain what this is and how you're feeling. Dead hang here, you're just gonna really just let the body drop. You're gonna grab the bar nice and tight, nothing too crazy. What you just wanna focus on is your breathing, guys. You're gonna hang here, your hands, you're gonna feel it in your wrists, and you're just gonna focus on that breathing, allowing your body just kinda drop. You'll even feel your lower back kinda release a little bit. Go ahead and enjoy it, it's a nice little stretch. Awesome. And this is for one minute, one minute dead hang. From the one minute dead hang, we'll be ready to move on to the second part of our workout. So come down, Lawrence. Now what happens with this one minute dead hang, now the beauty of this, this readiness proves is that you're ready for the monkey bar obstacle during the Spartan race. So if you can typically hang for one minute on our, for our readiness test, you can do the monkey bar challenge for any, any Spartan race. So we'll move on to the workout now, which we start off with hollow holds. Hollow holds. It's gonna be a 30 second hollow hold and we get 10 seconds of rest in between. So to break down the body mechanics of a hollow hold, I love to call this the banana. You almost want to make your body like a banana. So the arms come right up behind the head, they extend straight. The legs come just off the ground and notice this is the angle. And you just hold this here, hold this. For 30 seconds you hold. So Lawrence is going to hold this for 30 seconds. Then you can drop down with control, feet on the ground, 10 second rest. Now what you really want to focus on too, when you come up, drawing that belly button, really getting that core, that core activated, drawing that belly button to your spine, and then just holding it right there. 
So 30 second hold, 10 second rest, we repeat these five times. Awesome job. I love those. Yeah, those are amazing. Uh. If you're doing them correctly, they should hurt. I always say two seconds before you start. That's <laughs> Okay. Absolutely. The last we're gonna do is a bear plank crawl. Bear plank crawl. So again, as we were doing our shoulder mobility, we're in that bear plank position, or as you can say, the tabletop position. Shoulders again over wrist. Now from here, my knees are directly in line with my hip. So from here, all you're gonna do is bring your knees up about an inch, an inch and a half off the ground. Keeping your head eye level straight down to the ground. You're gonna crawl up, small movements. Now, what, what a lot of people like to do is they like to rush it. So you'll see them kind of do this here. We don't want that. We want strict bare planks, bare crawl. So again, shoulders over wrist, small movements. And the idea is that you lift your knee just about two inches off the Come ground. to the side. Okay. Um, Lawrence, turn to the side and show a regular plank so they can see a form on a regular plank. Regular plank? Regular plank. And so a bare plank, we just walk our knees in until they're parallel, they run in a straight line with your hips, with your knees just slightly off the ground. This is a bare plank. And then the crawl is around cones. So even without a cone there, you want to angle your bare plank. So it simulates real life in a Spartan race. It's not linear, it's not just in a straight line. You're going to have to move around some obstacles and challenges. So this bare plank crawl, we're going to go, Lawrence is going to take four steps up, four steps to the right. Perfect, Lawrence, come back. And then come back to your start position. Drop your knees down, 20 second rest. We repeat this three times. Shake them out, work out your wrist. Yep, so 20 seconds rest, recover, and then we go again. We lift, step forward, four steps, right, left, each. So one, two, three, four, then over four. Back to the left and then reverse it to the beginning. Rest, three times, 20 second rest, and then we repeat one more time. This will complete the warm up and mobility of episode five. So let's go ahead and work into part two where we're gonna focus on our strengthening and conditioning. Let's do it. Okay. Now we're moving on to the strength and conditioning portion of our monkey bar training for Spartan Race, and Lawrence is gonna start with some rope pounds. Another one of my favorites. So these rope pounds, you want to be heavy on your heels. You're going to hold that isolated squat position, looking straight down the barrel. Don't roll your shoulders forward. Keep your chest up. You don't want to slow down that flow of oxygen. And Lawrence is going to do these for 20 seconds. 20 seconds total with a 10 second rest in between. It's like you're pounding drums. Good. 10 more seconds. Four, three, two, 10 second rest. 10 second rest, and then Lawrence is gonna drop down and repeat. In five, four, three, two, go for it. So it's 20 seconds work, 10 second rest, and we do this a total of eight times. So this is Lawrence's second set. You have eight. Good, five, four, three, two, 10 second rest. Lawrence will do this six more times to complete eight total. That's the first it's gonna thing. gonna burn you up. Rope pounds, yep, how do you feel? Feel great. Awesome, awesome. Then we're ready to move on to our second. Going into that. Hip bridge. Hip bridge coming up with a rope climb. So, you wanna keep your feet a little more than shoulder width apart. Slowly gonna lower yourself down. Stacking your hands. Notice, I'm not coming down way here. I'm right here stacking my hands right underneath each other. Keeping my hips up, my <laughs> glutes are activated here. My core is nice and tight. Now, I don't want my shoulder blades to touch. So once I'm here, I work my way back up, a little bit higher on the hands. Hands will spread nice and far apart. Give a nice little pull at the top, negative on the way back down. Right back into that hip bridge, rope climb. Stacking those hands, staying in control on the way down, keeping those hips or those glutes activated, that core tight. Working your way back up. Yes, so Lawrence is gonna do 10 repetitions of these. That's gonna include one set, and then we repeat three times. So it'll be three sets of 10 reps. Yep. Don't forget the climb at the top, the pull at the top with the negative on the way down. Show now, them that go, one more time. When you, when you come to the top, don't always stack your right on top. Switch it up sometimes. Stack that left up, pull, and a negative. Awesome, awesome. So that'll be the second exercise. 10 repetitions of those times three sets, right? Yep. And then last, lastly, we'll pick up the pancakes. Then we're gonna grab our pancakes 
Now I like using the Spartan pancakes for this, not only because we're Spartan, because it also works on my grip strength at the same time. And what are we doing with these? So what I'm gonna go here, back straight, chest up, we're gonna go right into our front raise. So bring it up nice and slow, and then rotate it out. Now, this is where the negative comes in, slow down. Three to five seconds on the way down, and then a lateral raise up, work it to the front, and then slow and control on the way back down. That's one rep. That's we wanna complete 10 of these. Boom, right here. Awesome. Again, keeping your chest up, your spine's nice and straight. Bring it to the center. We don't have to rush it, we got all day. Awesome, bring it down. And rest, so we would do 10 reps of these total, and then I will complete one set. We want three sets of these. You guys okay? are gonna love these. Awesome. So now we'll move on to our last few exercises. We'll go over to the monkey bars to do those ones. Love them. Good with it? Yep, let's go all do right. it. We'll see you guys over there. And now we can, we'll complete the final exercises of our monkey bar challenge, which is 10 TRX muscle power-ups. Love these. Okay. So basically what you wanna have happen on these right here, you're gonna walk your hands in until they're straight down in front of you, all right? Feet shoulder width apart, and you're just gonna sit back. Now, I want you to pull yourself up as if somebody is helping you up off the ground. So you pull up, come into that like nice little calf raise, right back down, butt does not touch the ground. You go right back up, squeeze at the top, Knock out 10 of those bad boys. Awesome, and where do you feel this mostly? Oh, I feel it in my forearms, my triceps, my chest, my back, and my shoulders. I'm not gonna lie, awesome. everywhere. Awesome, so we're gonna do 10 TRX power muscle ups. Then, on the 10th one, we're gonna do a 25 meter bucket <sighs> farmer carry, okay? Now on these here, ladies, you're gonna want about 60 pounds in the bucket. Gentlemen, 80 pounds in each bucket. Basically, you want this to simulate your body weight, so, at least have your body weight in there and then work your weight up to that weight, if not more than that weight. So, 25 meters, I got this marked off, five meters down, five meters back. I'll just carry it back and forth. Focusing on that core strength, keeping your back straight, just like we talked about. Awesome, so it's a 25 meter bucket carry. And Lawrence, how much again is it for the women in each one? 60 for the women in each bucket. Okay. And 80, for the gentlemen? 80. Great, and you're gonna do these two exercises for three minutes, you're gonna complete as many rounds as possible. So once you've done 25 meters of the farmer bucket carry, you're gonna put your bucket down. You're gonna go back to the TRX, and you're gonna give me Thank 10 you. more TRX muscle power-ups. Remember foot placement, feet shoulder width apart, sit back, pull it all the way in. So these two exercises back and forth, 10 of these, 25 meter bucket carry, as many rounds as possible in three minutes. Good. On Lawrence's 10th rep, he'll put the TRX strap down, he'll go back, grab his bucket. Focus on that form, keep your back straight. And give me another 25 right. meter bucket carry. Remember, as many rounds as you can in three minutes. From there, Nice job, Lauren. Thank you. Feel it. Good. My shoulder's big time. Got that? Awesome. Once you've completed that, you're ready to move on to our finisher circuit, which is, <laughs> we go for time. 10 rounds of 20 alternating dead hangs and 10 full burpees. This is gonna hurt. We're going to do 10 rounds of these for time. Please. So let the stopwatch run. Your okay. alternating ha hangs here, one, Got 20 of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, yeah, so we'll do 20 of these total, and from the 20 total, we'll drop down, and Lawrence will give me 10 full burpees. So, Lawrence, come down, let's demo those burpees. Back into those burpees. Full burpees. Chest must touch the ground or it doesn't count. Good, Lawrence. So Five don't, more. Don't cheat yourself now because you definitely will not cheat yourself in a race. Two more. Awesome. Rest. That's one round. That's one round. You would do this nine more times. We want 10 rounds total. You're going to get your butt kicked. Yeah. That will complete your finisher circuit and wrap up this episode, which are monkey bars. 
Lefty bars. And again, guys, what you want to remember is your, this is your Spartan race. Even though you're not outside, you know, doing your run right now or, or at that Spartan obstacle, that the race that you would be competing in, this is your race. This is what you're getting ready for. So challenge yourself just like you would out there in here. This is where it starts. This is your preparation. So when you go out there, you can perform.